All right, good morning. So today is the count day. Yesterday we had the actual election and everyone put in their ballots, including me. Um, unlike other cities and wards and authorities around the country, we don't hold the count overnight, which is definitely more civilized. Um, so after some beauty sleep, which obviously paid off, I'm up and I've got to be at the count in the Brighton Centre in about 45 minutes and I'm going to go get some food on the way and yeah I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey through local democracy let's do it Okay, so I turned up about 15 minutes too early. I'm the only person dressed in bright orange in the entire building. And uh, yeah, they haven't started signing in candidates and guests yet. Um, so I thought I'd come onto the beach and um, yeah, give a bit of exposition. So I'm a candidate uh, for the North Port Slade Ward. I'm a candidate for the Green Party and I've spent the past couple of months, two, two, maybe three months, uh, delivering and helping canvassing and making the lovely videos which you've possibly seen for the Brighton & Hove local election campaign. Um, it's been really fun. Um, I've met a lot of people. Um, I've met a lot of residents and constituents on the doorstep um, and yeah it's just really nice to was it to meet those people on the doorstep and hear what like you know they're literally the only problem that they want to solve is to make the bins work and to recycle more stuff you know it's you know not I, I've heard I've had a few people talk to me about things like Brexit and you know Thing. I, was, I had one person turn around and talk about electoral reform, which is really interesting because I never heard anyone talk to me about that. It's usually the other way around. Um, and yeah, I just, yeah, I, I really hope we do well. So we have a number of target wards, which we've targeted over the, the course of the campaign and we're really looking to make gains in those places. So today I'm going to take you, the lucky viewer, uh, on a bit of a tour through local democracy. We're going to see what happens at the count and we're going to see what happens when you either win or lose a seat. I'm hoping we win. I'm hoping we win a seat. Oh. Anywho, got about 20 minutes till it opens. Yeah, so this is the count room. I'm not allowed to take the camera actually down there. But a very nice lady brought me up into the press gallery, which is very empty. Um, so at the moment we're doing verification, where basically we just verify the number of ballots that the was it the counters have versus the official figures of how many people voted. And so we counted how many was it? You know how many ballots there are, as well as. Who's vo was it who's voted for whom and then we're going to have the actual count where we have to verify that people's votes go into the right trays and yeah it's all just a bit interesting isn't it so there are some greens um, basically what happens is that these guys here the counters take the ballots out of the boxes and then Verify, or was it verify? Uh, or was it you know the number of them? Put them here. They are putting them into one hundreds and 
tens, and then these guys will be verifying the number of ballots and who's voted for who. So I'm going to try and film regular updates, but I probably won't be able to get back up there very often. This is as follows. Want of official mark zero, voting for more than permitted number two, mark identifying voter zero, unmarked or uncertain eight, rejected in part two, total number of rejected ballot papers 12, and the turnout for the whole part one is 44.2%. And I declare that Vanessa Brown and Samir Began are duly elected members for the whole part ward. Okay, so taking a bit of a break. Um, basically, because I'm not allowed to film in the count room there are going to be some big gaps in this video um, what we've been doing currently is just checking the count so what we do is we sit in front of the counters and tally off how many votes we get um, and counting up the mixed votes and just checking that the counters are doing it properly which they are um, yeah so we should be getting results in soon which is going to be interesting it's the fun part Zero. Voting for more than permitted number two, mark identifying voter zero, unmarked or uncertain 16, rejected in part zero. The total number of rejected ballot papers was 18. The turnout for the ward was 42.73%. And I declare that Fela McCafferty and H Hannah Ellen Clare are duly elected members for the Brunswick and Adelaide. <laughs> And I declare that Alistair McNair, Caroline Theobald, and Lee Michael Wares are duly elected members for the Patchen Ward. And I declare that Leslie Arthur Hamilton and Alan Robbins are duly elected members for the South Ward. And I declare that Robert Nemeth and Gary Peltzer Dunn are duly elected members for the Wish Ward. Second choice candidate 154. <laughs> the number of ballot papers rejected was as follows. Want of official mark zero. Voting for more than one permitted number two. Mark identifying voter zero. Unmarked or uncertain six. Rejected and part zero. Total number of rejected ballot papers is eight. The turnout was 34.86%. And I declare that Peter Gerald Atkinson and Louise. Uh, Pisaridu are duly elected members for the Sorry. North Port State. Lady Francis Healy, Cyril Ann Hugh Jones, and Leo Lippman are duly elected members for the Preston Park Ward. <laughs> Nicole Brennan and Jill Williams are duly elected members for the East Brighton Board. And I declare that Mariana Ebel, Jackie O'Quinn and John Christopher Alcock are duly elected members. Of the East and I declare that Lizzie Dean, Sue Shanks and Pete West are duly elected members. Of the Any more? 
And I declare that Daniel Jonathan Yates, Amanda Jane Grimshaw, and Kate Knight are duly elected members of the turnout was 14.39%. And I declare that Dee Simpson and Steve Bell are duly elected members for the Wooding Dean Award. Good man, Peter William, Conservative Party candidate, 257. Hills, Elaine, Green Party candidate, 3,100. Powell, Steph, Green Party candidate, 2,267. First choice candidate 1487. Yeah. And I declare that Teresa Fowler, Tracy Hill, and Martin Anthony Osborne. Yeah. Yeah. councillors in the with Dean Ward are as follows. Davis Steve, Green Party candidate, 2,734. Gilman <laughs> Josh, Labour Party, 1,263. Hodges Tim, Conservative Party candidate, 1,535. Khalil Haider Kamal, Liberal Democrats, 431. Lloyd, Jamie, Stephen, Green Party candidate, 2,635. Yeah! Isaac, Ian, Labour Party, 1,004. Yeah! Neil, Sarah, Green Party candidate, 2,795. Yeah! Sarah, Neil, Steve Davis and Jamie, Stephen, Lloyd are duly elected yeah! members of the And I declare that Alexander L. R. Phillips and Tom Drew are duly elected members for the Regency Board.
Uh, yeah, yeah, they right. found it. Are we going? Yeah, we're going. Okay. Oh, God. So, Rotting Dean, you know, we, we worked hard. We ran a good campaign there. As I was saying... A lot of sleepless nights. A lot of sleepless nights. Unfortunately, and again, personally, in particular for me, it looks like I have been punished at the ballot box, more so than my colleague Ruby, mm. who uh, has picked up a handful of votes across mm. the ward. Um, you know, I, I live in the ward, I, I you know, spend a lot of time in the ward, Ruby doesn't. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that message out to voters, um, so presumably because Ruby is top of the ballot, she has done better than me, solely for that reason. I don't know if you want to say anything, Ruby? Um, Matt comes across as an arrogant pig on the doorstep, so <laughs> therefore he hasn't really got any votes. I can't believe that. Oh, that's hilarious. Party third choice candidate 430. <laughs> We're almost at the end of the day. The Greens have gained eight, isn't it? eight seats uh, off both the Conservatives and Labour, which is absolutely amazing. Um, we're not going to be an administration, which is a bit of a letdown, but we're the official opposition. So no overall control of the council. Amazing. Absolutely great green candidates have won was it, clean sweeps across wards in Preston Park and with the. It's amazing. Um, we're still waiting on the final ward, which is Hangleton and Knoll, where the Conservative leader may have lost his seat. But we're not sure and we're waiting on the four three count third four three count it's ridiculous they did yeah um, but yeah there's no end in sight um, I can imagine that the pub is waiting for us but it looks like it's a couple of hours away Not standing up. Uh -huh.